Okay, kids, let's get back to our drawing lesson. No! No, no, no! Tell us another story, no, man! No, tell, us another story. tell us a new one! But I already told you all of the stories I had. There is nothing left. Come on, Bran! You've got to talk another one! Another one, you say? I tell you what, since I don't have any more stories left, how about we make our own all together? Yes! Yes! Let's make our own story! Hurrah! Who is the hero of our story? Come on, kids, let's draw our hero.
Hmm, okay, I guess you can be a hero, or maybe even an emperor, the ruler of the big kingdom. Great, so our story is about Carl, the greatest ruler and a hero of Serenity. He was young, strong and beautiful, but alas, Carl had no wife or fiance. He had no time for one. Our hero spent all his time on long journeys and battles. But one day he decided Enough! No more battles, no more monsters, no more endless adventures. I want to have a family. I want to have a wife. So he went on his last trip in search of his true love. And his first destination was Medaya, the land of beautiful dream islands. 
While making his way through the forest, he suddenly saw, Help me out, kids. Who did our hero see in the woods? Draw it. Quick. should it be? Mm. A rogue. He sees a rogue joy, the most wanted bandit in the whole kingdom. What should our hero do, kids? Fight! I should fight! Our hero quickly draws his sword and disarms the bandit. But wait, Joy plays a dirty trick. Joy throws some dust into our hero's face and flees into the woods. And before I am deeper, the bandit stops and screams. You are no hero, Carl! You are the fool! You'll never find your love! Carl continued his journey to Medaya. Sadly, words of joy turned out to be true. There were no beautiful tree maidens in Medaya, only old mushroom people. But our hero was not going to give up now. He continued his search and headed right to Calpheon, the city of wise wives and strict mentors. On his way there, he passed by an old shack, and near that shack he saw... Hmm, kids, I need your help again. Who did he see near the shack? Well then, I guess it could be an old man. Yes, it was a crazy old man mumbling some gibberish to himself. Oh, Carl, the great warrior and ruler of Serendia. Oh, the fool who seeks his love in dirty castles. 
Don't waste your time in this land. Go home and face your demise. What should our hero do, kids? Fight! They should fight! Enraged by such words, our hero has drawn his sword and said, How dare you say such things to me? Apologize immediately, or I will behead you. <laughs> the fool! Said the old man, turned himself into a frog and jumped away. Our hero calmed his nerves for a moment and continued his journey. But to his greatest dismay, the stories about Calfion were not true. The wise wives turned out to be boring snobs, and stick mentors were just a bunch of grumpy old women. They were right. I will never find my true love, said Carl to himself sadly, and headed back to his castle. Our hero was reaching the walls of his castle. It was his last quest, and the first one that he failed. But near the gates of the castle, someone was waiting for him. Come on, kids, you've got to help me out. Who was waiting for Carl near the castle? This can be Olivia, the most beautiful princess of the Far Lands. What should he do about it? Kiss! They should kiss! So, our hero was reaching the castle and noticed that Princess Olivia was waiting for him. This is it! This is my fate! Would you um, be my wife and the queen of this lands? Yes! They played their wedding on the same day and lived happily ever after. The end. That's it, kids. Now let's get back to our lesson. No! We need more! Tell us more! Okay, okay, calm down. We will continue the story. But you've got to promise me that you will help me out. Okay? Okay! Our hero married a beautiful princess. But his story did not end there. Guard! shouted newborn queen right after the wedding. What did the guards look like? That's for you to decide, kids. Let's draw a guard. Okay, that's good enough for now. Let's continue our story. Behead this man right now! But your highness, he is our king! Do you want to lose your head too? Guards took King Carl by his hands and brought him to the depths of dark woods. No! 
Why the birds listen to her? It's not fair! You see, kids, Princess Olivia was not just an ordinary woman. She was an ancient being and could charm any man with just one look. In the woods, they found a large stump, brought King Carl to his knees, and were ready to behead him. But, all of a sudden, the rain of arrows was falling onto them. Boom! One guard was shot. Bam! The other one has an arrow on his knee. Pow! The third one got shot right in his bum. Run! It's Rogue Joy and the gang! With victorious screams and shouts, the whole gang ran out of the woods. Hmm, come on kids, let's draw a member of the gang. Okay, that's good enough. The whole gang came out from the woods, with Rogo and Joy in the lead. What's up, hero? Your loyal guards have finally betrayed you? Just stand me quickly, you ruthless bandit. My heart is broken and I can't live any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Silence, you are ignorant brats. Are you a hero or a whiny little wimp? Get yourself together and let's get your kingdom back! The whole gang headed to the walls of Serendia castle. All of a sudden, a frog jumped in front of our heroes. This is the old man who has cursed me to such a fate! Shouted Carl angrily and tried to stomp the frog. But the frog jumped away from Carl's boot and turned back into an old man. You fool! I was warning you, not cursing! And what do you want from me now? I came to warn you once more. The princess you have met is not just an evil woman. She is an ancient being that has already stolen a kingdom once before. She stole my kingdom, and even I, Stradivarius the Great, was not able to defeat her back then. I spent my whole life in search of an artifact that can help in a fight with her, and I finally found it. With this word, Stradivarius threw up his cloak and showed the artifact to the group. Come on, kids, help me out. What did this artifact look like?
so that the artifact in his hands and bandits by his side, our hero was heading to the gates of the castle. The evil Queen Olivia was already waiting for our heroes. Charge! Carl took out the artifact and ran into combat. The great battle has begun. Words were falling left and right. Losses on the bandit's side were also numerous. And finally, Carl reached the evil queen. He took the artifact in both hands, brought it high above Olivia's head, and the artifact slipped out from his hands, and Carl fell to his knees. Aha! I have you in your own weapon! said the queen, looking around her for an artifact. But she turned around, and there it was, gripped tightly in the hands of Rogue Joy. Without any hesitation, Joy stabbed Olivia, with the artifact right in her chest. But how? No man can kill me, the ancient being of power. <laughs> but I'm not just a mere man, I'm a woman. She took off her bandana and long, beautiful hair has fallen on her shoulders. Oh, Joy, the beautiful leader of the Darkwoods gang. Would you be my new wife and new queen of this lands? Yes! They got married, had many kids, and lived happily ever after. The end.